What's up guys, it's your boy Zion and I'm going to show you how I stream to Twitch from my MacBook to um, Twitch.tv using an Elgato capture card. So, um, some of the programs you're going to need are OBS, which is right over here, um, Game Capture HD, which comes with your Elgato, and you're going to need a third program called Soundflower Bed, and it's right here, this pretty little purple flower. So the first things first, you want to open up Soundflower Bed. I already have mine open. What you want to do is in your system preferences for your Mac, iMac, whatever, uh, you want to go to Sound. And once you're in Sound, you want to make the output to Soundflower 2 channel. That goes ahead and lets you, if I click on the flower up here in my menu bar, I can choose where I want the sound for everything playing. So if I'm streaming and talking on a mic, you guys don't want to hear the um, the sound from my computer and everything coming back and echoing through the mic. So I have mine on none off. So then when I go into the recording and everything, you can hear all my game sound and things like that. However, it doesn't play through the speakers on my Mac and uh, echo into my microphone. So that's how you do that. The next step is you want to open up Game Capture. And I do this, I have it so I can go ahead and see all my controls and everything once I have other programs running. So have it up and running, ready to go, make sure there's no problems beforehand, and then you want to go into OBS. Once you're into OBS, it's going to go ahead and let you, yours isn't going to look exactly like mine, I already have my setup running. But once it comes up, if it ever comes up, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up your scene. So what you want to do is you want to add a new scene. Just give it a second. It takes a minute. And this is my normal setup. Um, let me go ahead and show you with game capture and stuff. This is what my normal stream would look like. Um, I think game capture is a little bit off. I'd have to fix that in a second. But... Uh, this would be how my typical streams look like, and that's me down, down there in the corner. That's me. Hi, guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is let me delete all of these and show you how I set up my stream normally. So the way this would normally work is, and you can see everything disappearing. So I have my scene. I just called it tutorial for the sake of the video. I'll show you guys how to set it up. So the next thing is I want an image because I want my overlay so I'll just make it random image and then we'll go into browse and you have to find the right file. If I go into this little folder I set up just for it and open it up you can see my overlay. So let's close that and then go ahead and move everything down so it snaps to the bottom and there's my overlay you can see all my icons for all my uh, social media things like that you can see what my name is or the name I go by and I have this window over here for my webcam so the next thing is we'll open a video capture device doesn't matter what you call it um, and then I have it to 1280 by 720 typical HD 720 quality face cam so I use my FaceTime camera there's me aren't I gorgeous and then uh, we'll go ahead and drag this down by clicking on that right corner it keeps it in scale and you want to just go ahead and get it so it fits perfectly into where your overlay is now my webcams over my overlay which isn't a good thing and actually I need to make this a little bit smaller and maybe stretch me out a little bit. There we go. Something like that works, but my webcam goes over my overlay, which isn't a good thing. You want to be able to see my overlay and you want that to be a border around what you look like. The overlay is supposed to make everything look clean and professional. So we'll go ahead and move that up using that arrow and now the edges of my webcam disappear. You can see me, I'm inside of my overlay. If I want to move my camera or anything, I can, and my overlay doesn't change. I'm still centered, look great, and it's professional looking. The next thing you want to do is add your game, video, audio, everything like that. 
So let's go ahead and add a window capture. And doesn't matter what you call it, you can call it game capture, Elgato, whatever the hell you want to call it. So go into which window you want to pick, and you want to pick this one, game capture HD. So click on that, it's going to show you the entire window. So let's close out of this. And what you want to do is basically just stretch this out until it takes up the whole screen. So just like we did with the webcam, go ahead and drag everything out. And go ahead and just reposition it because I'm going to show you how you fix it not meeting the edges. Because this screen doesn't zoom in and out. So you can't see the edges of what you just dragged. So what we're going to do is if you come up to the top here and hit edit in your menu bar, do transform and edit transform, it's going to bring up this little pop-up menu where it has all these numbers and stuff. I wouldn't mess with the stuff down here at the bottom, but um, the position and rotation and size and everything is important. So the one on the left is the x-axis. So if we go ahead and increase this, it's going to slowly move it from that left uh, top left corner. So I'm just holding that down, trying to get it to where uh, you don't see the menu bar for game capture. I'll move that up so you don't have any black bars around the edges. And then the next thing is this Y axis you want to go ahead and increase. And by holding this down, you just go ahead and increase where you are in the Y axis. It's going to take a little bit of adjusting because you're kind of just stretching it out slowly and carefully. It's not really doing much of anything else besides stretching your video but this will go ahead and preserve the quality plus um, you can actually do this more precisely than just dragging those bars so it does take a little bit but it allows you to go ahead and see how your video is shifting and go ahead and make adjustments so I think I'm getting close to where I want it to be we can go ahead and move the video up a little bit more we don't want any black bars and then let me actually go into the game screen and get to a light area so we can see exactly where that edge is so if I go outside it should be really really light since I'm on Mars and Destiny but if I go ahead and look at this sand it's gonna tell me exactly where the edge of my video is good thing is OBS is delayed a little bit problem is uh, since it's OBS for the Mac it doesn't go ahead and allow you to delay your audio so let's see where is that black edge right there so I did a pretty good guesstimation job sizing it out so we'll go ahead and close this and once again same issue we had with the um, webcam we're just gonna move it down until everything's on top and then you can see me I have my game video in the background and everything's perfect so Let's go ahead and I know it's personal preference. I don't typically make that full screen. I would go ahead and come over here and change this Y axis just because with my overlay and everything, I take up part of the screen. So if I shrink to my Y axis, I could go ahead and show you guys all the way up and actually shrink this down so you get a little more field of view and just wait until that black bar shows over my overlay and just take it right back down so now you guys can see more of my field of view and I'm not blocking as much that's a good thing to keep in mind is how much of your overlay is blocking your screen like if I have an overlay that takes up the entire screen and people are coming to watch a video game they're not gonna wanna watch it because they can't see the game so just a little tip um, has nothing to do with the setup or anything but let's go into the settings side because down here at the bottom you can see uh, the desktop audio and you can see my mic and everything bouncing around as I talk and that's because I have a setup and I'm gonna show you how I got everything running perfectly like that so we'll go into settings and your settings general is just your language stream is what you're streaming to so I have it doing a typical streaming service through a website I don't have a customized one or anything I'm going through twitch and you pick the server closest to you so I went US East New York New York okay um, then the output wherever you want it to um, save your files if you ever want to record videos or stuff off OBS is where you put this the video bitrate and audio bitrate are fine um, have it automatically reconnect and these are just your retry delays the maximum retries before it stops trying to reconnect and 
then these are just how fast do you want your CPU to try to render things out. So the next step is audio. The sample rate and channels are fine. The one thing you want to do is your desktop audio device, make it sound flower. This goes back into how we made all our audio from our desktop go through Soundflower. If I make on my desktop audio device Soundflower, I can make it so OBS picks up the game sound, but once again, if I click on my Soundflower, nothing's playing through my speakers. So that's how you do that. If you have another audio device you want to go ahead and capture with, you can add that. And then I'm using my Astro A50s as a microphone right now. So I have that set up for my first mic auxiliary audio device. If you have any other USB microphone, should work perfectly. You just have to choose that instead of Astro wireless transmitter. And then video, um, my base resolution is 1280 by 800 but I scale it down to 1280 by 720 which is full HD and is what Twitch actually streams. So this would be a good thing to put that you want everything scaled down to 1280 by 720. And then um, 30 frames per second is perfectly fine. There's really no reason why you would want to stream in 60 frames per second except for a little extra quality but most people can't even tell the difference. So that's how you get your settings right. Um, the next part is I'll show you because if we go back into settings and look at stream it's asking for the stream key so I'll show you where to go ahead and find that so we'll go ahead and I'm gonna start streaming just because I'm gonna show you that it goes ahead and streams perfectly to twitch so let's start streaming and then we'll go over to Safari open that up real quick and once that opens up we can go to Twitch I'll show you that I'm actually streaming you can see me um, I don't think you'll be able to hear any of my audio just because like I said I have it muted I don't have it really playing through anything you might be able to depending on uh, how I have my settings set up right now because I wasn't planning on streaming but We'll go ahead and we're not going to go to YouTube, we'll go to Twitch. Let's go to twitch.tv and I should already be signed in if it ever wants to load. It's not, so let's log in real quick. And it already has all my stuff. So we'll go ahead and log in. I have several other accounts as you can see. And once we're logged in, you're going to go ahead and go to your dashboard. So click on your name and then down here, dashboard, go there. It's going to take you to your live dashboard. So it's going to show on mine, it's going to show the stream after it loads up a um, an ad. It should throw an ad up, but um, doesn't matter. We can come back to that. So we're going to go ahead and over here, click on stream key. And it's going to go ahead and ask, do I want to show my key? Because if I show my key and you can use it, you would just click on show key. I'm not going to click it because I don't want you guys to have my key to stream to my Twitch. But uh, at home, click on this show key. It'll go ahead and give you a long MS URL looking code. Just copy that and then paste it over here in OBS. In your settings just paste it right here where it says stream key and that's how you get it to stream directly to twitch and that's about all i have to show you guys thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um i i definitely enjoyed making this video it's a it was a pain last night because i had to try to redo this today last night i spent four hours trying to keyframe this and it would not work but thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed um I, I put in a lot of hard work for this video, so make sure you like the hell out of it and subscribe and show me a little bit of support for making this for you. I hope it helps somebody out. So thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys later. Peace.